Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be reviewing and comparing two of my favorite totes from the sack. All right, so I think I have at least touched on both of these totes here on my channel, if not have done a full review and packing video. I believe this one specifically I have packed up before for you guys. It's an older video and a different color, of course, so I thought it would be fun to kind of do an updated packing video on this one because I love this new rosewood color. And then I wanna compare this tote to their Fay tote, which is probably my most used bag from the sack. I love this tote, especially in the spring and the summer months. It comes in so many different colors and it's just really lightweight and packs up great. So let's talk about each one of these individually really briefly and then let's pack them both up to compare. All right, so I will have the exact names for both of these kind of in the bar here and the color of them so that you can search them easily on the website. I do have a discount code for the sack. I don't remember exactly what it's for. I'm thinking 20%, something around there. I will, of course, put that right here so that you guys can use that whenever you're shopping either of these bags or shopping anything at the sack. It's a great, great um, discount code. Um, but this one here, I actually just got in the mail. I'm pulling out some of the fluff on the inside here so that I can show you the inside of it. But this one is leather. One of the things I love about this particular tote is the handle. I love that it's short and it kind of hobos a little bit. This bag fits so much and it packs really easily. You guys know I usually <laughs> will leave my bags open or unzipped no matter if they have a zipper or not. That's just how I roll. And this one is just really easy to get things in and out of. It fits comfortably underneath my arm at all times and it's a great length. I love this kind of little detail right here on the strap. It's a bag that doesn't fall off my shoulder very easily, especially when it's packed fuller. Um, it stays on really nice. I think it's a great size. It's not too big. Um, it's perfect for every day. And yet you can really pack a good amount in it, um, even for like traveling or a work bag. It's just, it's an awesome, awesome tote. I also really like the stitching detail that's on it, kind of on the corners here, as well as on the middle and then around here on the back. So it's just kind of adds a little something to it. The leather strap here is sewn onto the bag, so you can't remove it or anything like that. It does not come with any other type of strap, so this is the only way that you can carry this particular bag. You do have some internal organization with this bag. On one side, you actually have two slip pockets that you can use for things that you need to grab quickly, your keys, hand cream, chapstick, all that kind of stuff in these pockets. And then on the other side, you actually have a pocket and a zipper. I'll show you better when I put the camera down and kind of pack it up, but you have a pocket down there and then there's a zipper on the outside um, of that pocket. This tote here and a lot of the sack totes come with some type of little embellishment or charm and this is what this particular one looks like, two different colors and then you have the little um, sack logo on a charm right on the inside there. The next tote that I wanna talk about today is the Fay tote. And I know I've mentioned this tote here on my channel, but I don't believe I've actually packed it up for you guys yet. It's one of my favorites. It's one I grab for a lot actually, so I'm surprised that I haven't done like a dedicated packing video on this one. So I definitely wanted to include it in today's video. But like I said, it is the Fay tote. I have it here in the crochet material, but it does come in a leather option. If that's more your jam, I imagine the leather is just like this other bag that I just showed you. Very, very soft and um, lightweight and a comfortable leather. This one I think is fantastic. It comes in so many different colors, seasonal colors, um, and it's just great for spring and summer. The straps are on the thinner side, as you can see here. I think they're really comfortable. They do not slip off my shoulder, um, especially again when the bag is more packed. I think the bag is a nice size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's a great kind of everyday throw and go type tote. Um, it's very casual. I feel like you can kind of make it more sporty or more casual or more, more laid back vibe. Um, it's just a great kind of everyday summer bag. 
One of the things I love about this one is how easily I can get in and out of the tote when I'm wearing it. It opens up nice and wide. It does have a zipper closure across the top. If you like to make sure that the top of your bags are always nice and secure, you have that option. The zippers are nice and smooth. On the inside of this bag, you actually have more organization inside of it than I've seen in, I think, any other sack bag. Um, on the one side, you actually have three different elastic pockets and they're very spacious. You can fit a lot inside those pockets. It's just a great way to kind of organize the small pieces inside your bag. And then you also have this little clasp here to use to attach your keys or hand sanitizer or anything like that. Then on the other side of the tote, you do have one big zipper pocket. So I love that it just has a little bit of something to organize the inside. All right, so I think that's about it when it comes to the Fay Tote. It's a pretty basic one. You don't have any exterior pockets or anything like that. It's the same on both sides of the bag. All right, let's go ahead and set the camera down and pack these two totes up so that you can see how they compare. All right, here is this one all packed up. It holds so much stuff. <laughs> Every time I pack up this one, I forget like how awesome it is and how soft. It's just, this is, this is one of my favorite favorites from SAC for sure. Um, so this top handle here, you can easily just push it towards the back whenever you're wanting to get stuff in and out of it. Um, it doesn't stay stationary up, like it won't get in your way whenever you're trying to pull things out of the bag. I find with this one, it is best packed full. So packing it with pouches or packing it with like a big cooler, like if you need to carry a lunchbox or something like that, it would make a awesome diaper bag, especially for like um, pouch packing. It just, it holds, it holds so much stuff. So let's go ahead and start pulling things out of it. And then I'm gonna put the same items into the Fay tote so you can kind of compare the two. There's no external pockets on this bag whatsoever. It's just um, a couple of pockets on the inside, which I'll go ahead and open those first. There is a um, button closure um, on the bag. I have it so full that I mean, I could snap it if I wanted to, but y'all know me, I don't snap or zip any of my bags. So there you go. But in this pocket here, I just have my eyeglasses and then I also have my cell phone. They're just two little slip pockets here. So I have that tucked down in there. Then in the back, you also have here a zipper pocket. Let me make sure I'm in the frame here. Yes, I am, barely. <laughs> but you have a zipper pocket, which I actually don't have anything in. But behind here, you also have an additional pocket, which I actually think this is kind of cool. Um, I just have snacks in here, some gum, a couple of these little chicken sticks, which I kind of love on the go, and some granola bars. I could probably put more in there. It's just like a little grab and go pocket. All right, everything else in here, I have my iPad Pro. This is the larger one with the Magic Air keyboard on there. I really need a case for this, like a sleeve or something. I thought about grabbing one on Amazon. If you guys know of a good one, let me know, but I have trouble finding one that fits my iPad with the Magic Keyboard. That's kind of the issue I've had. Um, Erin Condren notebook right there in front of it. And then the current book that I'm reading. Right next to it, I have a MZ Wallace pouch, and this one here holds all of my tech stuff. I have my little pencil, and then behind here, I just have some sticky notes and a pen. Love this pouch, it's, it's a good one. I hope they release that color, actually. Um, and then I have another MZ Wallace pouch kind of sitting next to it, and this one here is all of my small, like, cosmetic stuff, if you will. I have a mini, Keep going first aid kit down in there. I also have all of these like medications and lip products and cuticle cream. You guys get the idea. It's like my little cosmetic bag. Then the only other items I have in here is my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no water bottle today, just Dr. Pepper. And then I have the Lululemon belt bag. This is in the 2L size. I just recently did a review on this one. I'm not sure if it'll be posted by the time I post this one, but if it is, I will link it. And if it's not, it'll be coming soon. But this here is the largest belt bag from Lululemon and I kind of love it. It holds all of my 
small things. This is like a great option. Just kind of grab it out of this bag. If I need to pop into a store or get the kids from school or whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, I have everything in here really neatly. My wallet, my keys, hand sanitizer. I even have room in the back of this belt bag to hold um, a thing of wet ones. And that's a full pack. So this is, this is a great, great belt bag. Highly recommend it. All right, so that is how I had this tote all packed up. I'll kind of give you one last look of it empty here before I pack everything into the Faye tote. This is a good one, y'all. I really like this one here um, from the sack. It's soft and holds a ton. All right, so this Faye tote here I had to pack up just a little bit differently because it's a tad bit smaller, I think, than that other one. The only difference that I did is I took out the Lululemon belt bag and the items inside of it and packed them into here. I think if I had to pick, because I know you guys are probably gonna ask me, I think I prefer this Faye tote um, over the other one. This is just one I grab for all the time. I've had this almost a year, I wanna say now, I think it was like last summer, about around that time, that I got it and I grab for it all the time. I think it's really comfortable, like I mentioned earlier. It does have the option to zip close. Um, again, I hardly ever zip mine close, but if I need to, it has that option. Um, I probably maybe could have put that little lemon belt bag in there like on top or something if I didn't close it But I just don't need to with this one. So in here. I have like I said all the same items This is like my cosmetic stuff. I moved the items that were inside That lululemon bag um, just in here the lip products still have my little first aid kit in there and everything fits great in that one Dr. Pepper I have my tech pouch here all the same stuff in it. And then I have my book, my notebook, and then of course um, my iPad right down in there. And it fits great. I think I would also have room if I had this in a case of some sort. I think it would be fine in this bag. Um, in the back here, you do have a zipper pocket and this little tiny pocket, which I don't have anything in, but the zipper pocket is actually really big on this one. I could have fit a ton more in here, but I just decided to put snacks kind of down in that pocket. It They fit really well. Um, then over here on the other side, which is one of the things that I love about this bag, is the three pockets that are here. I'm trying to see if I can lift it up and show you just a little bit closer, but it fits my eyeglasses. I have my wallet down in there in that middle one. This is the Ondar Denner wallet. For those of you that haven't seen it, I could get it out of the bag here. <laughs> it's just a small little compact wallet. Um, it has this little tether here that you can actually lift your cards from the center. Love it. Comes with a little wristlet. My eyeglasses and then in this pocket I just have my hand cream as well as my Touchland hand sanitizer. So that's everything I have inside those three pockets which are awesome. Then you also have this little loop over here that I just attached my keys to but you can obviously put whatever you want there. It's just kind of a great way to get what you need quickly without them falling to the bottom of your bag. So that's everything um, packed up in this Faye tote here. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that are looking at either of these two bags from the sack. I will have my link as well as my discount code down below if you would like to shop either of these or anything at the sack. The uh, discount code is always active, so feel free to use it at any time. As always, I really appreciate you guys shopping through my links. They really help support um, my channel. So until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you soon. Bye.